Hello everyone and welcome once again to chapel and this week I come to you from just outside the chapel and I'm standing next to one of the great old Stoics, Leonard Cheshire. He entered Chatham in the first cohort of Stoics in 1923. He had a very distinguished war career with Bomber Command where he won the Victoria Cross, the highest award for gallantry. And after the war, he became the founding father of Leonard Cheshire Disability, which many of you will remember was the school's charity a couple of years ago. Quite rightly, we have a statue to him here, but I want to draw your attention to some other rather less well-known old Stoic heroes this morning. Come with me into the chapel. So as you come into the chapel and turn immediately left, we come to Stowe's War Memorial, commemorating the 270 old Stoics who died serving their country during the Second World War. We remember them every Remembrance Sunday. And of course, this coming Friday, we celebrate 75 years since VE Day, Victory in Europe, and we give thanks for the freedom won for us by these old Stoics. But we give thanks not just for these 270, but for the hundreds of others, other old Stoics who fought for our freedom. And indeed for the thousands and millions who served the country in various capacities in wartime. The freedom we enjoy today is thanks to what they worked for then. So as we look ahead to Friday, a national holiday remembering this great day 75 years ago, I want to encourage us all to give thanks for our freedom. Fly the flag, put up the bunting, bake a fairy cake, join in the eight o'clock applause from the front door, cook a celebratory meal, because freedom is something to be celebrated. And another reason to have a gratitude attitude today is that we are free. We may be experiencing a lockdown, but we're free. We have the vote. We have a democratic government. We're not living under a brutal dictator. We're not a country at war. If you think lockdown is hard, then why not talk to someone who's lived through five and a half years of war, suffering, rationing, violence, death, and bereavement. And let's give thanks for our freedom. There's a wonderful old lady who lives in Buckingham called Liz Zettel. She's 102 years old, and she was the Bursa's secretary at Stowe during the Second World War. I met her last year when she returned to visit the school. Still bright and alert, she walked up these chapel steps behind me without a stick, politely declining my offer of an arm. She wanted to see that war memorial, and she went down that list. I remember him, she said, he was captain of cricket. I remember him, he died at Dunkirk. His parents were friends of my aunt and uncle, and she talked of them as though it was yesterday. She described how J.F. Roxburgh, the school's founding headmaster, who by the time the war broke out had been head for getting on for 20 years, how he'd announced the latest war casualties in assembly, with tears streaming down his face. Then she said this, I do hope that today's Stoics are grateful for their freedom. Challenging words from a 102-year-old. So folks, let's be grateful for our freedom. Listen to these words about freedom from Jesus, read to us by Rupert Mathers. A reading from John chapter 8. Jesus said to his followers, If you hold to my teaching, you are really one of my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and we have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we shall be set free? Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, 
but a son belongs to it forever. So if the son sets you free, then you will be free indeed. Man is born free and everywhere he is in chains. These are the words of the 18th century French philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau. In many ways he was absolutely right because in his day millions were born into slavery or lived lives of grinding poverty. But Jesus has a different take on our spiritual situation. He says this, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. That is, we're in the grip of our bad habits, our selfishness, our greed, our guilt. And we're trapped by it. We're enslaved by it. Everyone who sins is a slave to sin. But Jesus goes on, and if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. He's saying that he came to set us free. Free from our guilty consciences free from our bad habits, free from the consequences of our actions, and free to enjoy God's forgiveness, free to live with a clear conscience, to look forward to heaven, and free to enjoy a relationship with God. Freedom with Christ is wonderful. I don't know about how you and your family plan to celebrate VE Day this Friday, Various people like the British Legion have suggested that if you can't have a street party, which of course we can't, then why not have a big meal at home to celebrate? It's interesting that the way Christians celebrate their freedom in Christ is also with a meal, as they eat bread and drink wine, remembering Jesus' body broken and blood shed for us on the cross. So... Have a great celebration this Friday, and let's all be grateful for our freedom. Let's finish with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the social and political freedom won for us and sealed for us 75 years ago this week. And we thank you too for the spiritual freedom won for us by Jesus Christ, on the cross 2,000 years ago. Please give us grateful hearts and serving hands for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Well, have a good day, folks, and enjoy the weekend.